Hi, it's Rosie from Rose by Name Co. Excuse me, my voice this time, I do have a little bit of a cold. But I wanted to show you my new journal called Inspire, which um, is a Christmas journal uh, that I made last year, but it was just too late for Christmas last year. And it did find a new home um, now, and it will be there uh, in plenty of time for Christmas, so it should be enjoyed this time. Um, this is a um, uh, four by five uh, by eight by five inches um, journal in size. It has a uh, three signature and a two inch spine with the uh, ribbon and beads tassel with um, the few different colors that might go with for Christmas with red and green and blue and some over here. Beige and so on. Um, the uh, cover is in uh, golden tones and it does have two um, fabrics on it. it uh, one of them is the darker one that you see underneath and then the, the top is more of a lacy material and then over here you have a ribbon with some materials there as well. On top is a real postcard, uh, the back of it with this beautiful writing on it and with the stamp and then the title inspire with uh, Tim Holtz hardware and over here we have a little it's almost like a little house it was an earring that I've taken off and then it has this beautiful um, little cross on the bottom and just kind of reminded me of Christmas the little house at Christmas and so um, I use the closure is a sari silk in uh, beige and inside we have Lots of ribbons and the different uh, charms on the sides as well. Um, anything to do with Christmas. And over here on the top also, um, lots of yummy fluff on top with uh, ribbons and so on. Just to enjoy a little bit more of these colors. On the inside, I do have a double hinged page for the beginning here and um, it does open this way and it has a, a quite a long notebook on here and a little bit more for writing underneath here as well and there and over here is a tag it is a fabric um, that I printed Merry Christmas onto it and in the back of course is some um, coffee dyed papers uh, that I enjoy and fits into this belly band. And over here are one of those uh, wreaths that I have that my mother makes that's just beautiful also. This is the inside of that fabric that I mentioned um, that is then covered uh, with uh, lace on top here. And over here is an insert, a little bit of a, a floating pocket uh, with this beautiful fabric on top. And uh, inside is so it is um, uh, an actual photograph, authentic photograph of a little girl, and I'm calling her Georgia Rose. So throughout the journal, um, there is a little bit about Georgia Rose. Um, she's a little girl, uh, she's grown up now, but um, her father has passed away and she has made this journal in um, honor of her father. So she has put in uh, pictures of her and her father and other things that remind her of Christmas. Um, with her father in this journal. A little bit of um, just a folder and a little bit more space to write on and I'm always using the tabs in the Christmas is color or something that is looking really good. And then um, over here I did write a little note to the buyer so I will send it off to them. And um, so throughout you'll see uh, fabric tabs and here as well on this um, beautiful flower and then uh, the tag does come out this way so it's a long one and on the sides you also have to look around and on the sides you can see um, there is a little bit of it's just like for writing it's an envelope and then in the back it is a place for writing so it is something that I printed from the New York library and then um, I just made it, wanted to have a little bit more space 
or write, uh, writing. So over here, just um, take a look at whatever sides you have, just to see if something else might not be uh, peeking in there. Um, here's another one right here, actually, a little Christmas tree. And then here is an authentic uh, postcard, um, maybe for uh, Christmas or New Year's with this beautiful candle. And um, in the back is some writing as well. I love uh, beautiful writing on postcards. So this is an old postcard and that maybe um, her father sent to her mother or to the both of them. And um, she's got a hold of it. She's going to keep it. Here's some writing paper on this ledger. And the pages, there is about 84 pages and then plus all the notebooks and so on. Now over here, this uh, little pocket here with these beautiful uh, berries. Um, this is either hold in here. And then this uh, little, it's like a pamphlet almost that you take out. So the little pamphlet um, has uh, her mother and father on it. It's an authentic photograph. And I just sewn around it a little bit. And uh, this is before they had uh, Georgia Rose, and she loves this photo, so she keeps it handy with her. So over here, we have a bit of a bird here, and plaid, of course, what would Christmas be without a little bit of plaid? And this is uh, a stamping uh, stencil that I put in. And then over here, a little bit of an envelope with gold and red on it. It's just so cute, and a little bit of uh, paper to use for writing. And then on the inside, uh, we have um, two little tags with Santa and with a little girl, could be Georgia Rose also. And uh, notes, space for notes, and a little bit of writing. And if you look at it, this is what it looks like from the top, and then this is what it looks like from the outside. And then over here, I have um, an actual uh, Christmas vintage Christmas um, postage stamp and um, that will go right back in here then. So, um, it has a pocket here as well so you could put something slide something in here in the front as well and then some stamping here of lines a little bit of a Christmas tree and in the back too and over here a little bit of this beautiful tab with gold and silver and if you just take this up, um, it is a copy of a music sheet for the song My Little Georgia Rose, and that's where I got the name <clears throat> for the little girl that I'm using in here. Oh, these are her memories and so on. Um, so you can write in the inside, and I will put that in later. And in this beautiful uh, cabbage type paper, a little bit more coffee type paper, and this, um, this whole thing here is a collage of the different uh, bits I had of paper and fabric and this is the metal part of the first signature and just stamping on either side here and um, a little bit of a tag here with uh, red ribbon on top and this beautiful flower. Um, this is uh, from the um, graphics fairy. And this is an, an authentic um, postcard of somewhere where maybe um, this was their house in the country where she lived with her mom and dad when she was a little girl. Next page we also have the collage here and then some more paper all um, sewn in with uh, red. And down here we also have some tabs, this beautiful, very, very fine um, almost like golden leaf um, tab on the bottom and then more Christmas tree. Here is um, more lines to write on and then a little bit inside as well. And here you have um, this flower in the same color and then a little bit more space to slide in something there. And this is a bit of a flip up. And over here is another postcard of a beautiful place they went to. Um, they like to travel and as much as they could and maybe around Christmas time or even in summer uh, this is just something that reminded her of her dad and so she put it in here uh, a little bit more of um, the different uh, type of like there's more than one actually ribbon in here and fabric so uh, different colors and so on that I used now this is the other side of the um, uh, flip up uh, page or the uh, with a notebook here 
and in a little tiny uh, envelope here as well and then a belly band and a picture of her of Georgia Rose and her father when they went to the beach once upon a time and she enjoyed it so much she put it in here and inside here as well um, there's a letter you can open up and then in the back you can write on it it's um, just something I printed here's the second signature and we have this whole collage over here that I um, also sewn on with the different items on it uh, with the paper and a map and a bit of uh, text and so on Oops, uh, it looks pretty really with the whole journal the uh, colors yellow red uh, green blue of course and then this one is has a little notebook here uh, that I made so you know, there's plenty of extra space and uh, lots of extra notebooks to write in. And um, so the 84 pages plus is the, plus all these notebooks that you can also use as well. And then I stamped up over here as well. And over here we have uh, more ledger paper. And as well, you know, flip out of uh, just regular. This actually opens up quite a bit, so in regular paper here with the beautiful flower. Over here we have Santa. He uh, is ready, it looks like, to hand out some gifts. And on the back um, you can write, and I did add some some more of the fabric and so on in here. So on all of them. This here is fabric on top as well. Underneath here we have um, yellow line paper, and over here is a little bit of a charm also of a Santa face. And then we have the red ribbon, and um, here's a little uh, tuck spot uh, this, with this um, brownish uh, fabric, and then this very beautiful uh, gold motif uh, ribbon on top. And then inside is something I printed uh, uh, with one of those uh, vintage uh, postcards from Vicky Art. And then in the back, you also have a little bit extra space to write in and this beautiful tab of this beautiful um, winter scene. Um, a little bit of stamping here and uh, a little bit of vintage uh, math. And this is in the middle. In the middle of this one um, is a notebook uh, with this um, beautiful uh, words on a fabric. It was uh, a block that I had uh, that says uh, peace on earth, goodwill toward all, uh, and beautifully fit in to make a uh, little bit of a notebook and this uh, little bit of a ribbon in here as well. And um, just opens up on both sides, there's a little bit of ribbon. So this notebook and then um, there is here's a little uh, sweet Georgia Rose, uh, she's carrying a tree that maybe she and her father picked out and with this beautiful gold uh, fabric on top and a little bit more of the stamping and on the other side here uh, we also have a winter scene from one of the um, 1800s painting, paintings just a beautiful uh, snow scape and a little bit of extra space uh, where it left you like an actual page and then over here too it's beautiful, beautiful kind of collage with different fabrics. And then also a few pages to write on. And over here is a card. It is an actual card uh, with this beautiful winter scene. And it opens up wide. And then you can write in the back of it. It has a little writing over here. But it is an actual authentic card, Christmas card. And opposite is, is the ledger paper and um, this beautiful flowery paper. And at the very end of the second signature, a little bit more stamping over here. And this beautiful moral card stuck. It is, a, it is an index card with graph paper and I just stamped it out and coffee dyed on both sides. And I did put a little bit, I don't know if you can see, a little bit of sparkles there, a little bit sparkly for Christmas. And uh, so there's uh, more of this kind of uh, paper fabric collage over here. 
And here you see on this side. And so on this one, the, here's um, on this one, we have a little bit of a butterfly. And I find this thing over here. I think I showed you, yes. And then, uh, so this is the uh, second um, double hinged side over here. We have a tag. And then on, on this side as well is a little pull out. Also with, let me show you. So on this one is uh, with eco dye paper that gave that I used flowers on and gave me this beautiful um, peaches and cream, I call it, uh, pattern. And on the inside as well, a little bit. It's just beautiful right here. And just a little bit more of these colors. And inside we have this beautiful notebook with um, lots of the greenery and so on and the different kinds of papers and a little notebook a little envelope here as well with i'm trying to, ah, there we go with a little bit of paper there and then over here is a tag uh, from this beautiful belly band also with different uh, types of fabrics and this one is the uh, fabric that i printed on this beautiful um christmas flower and added uh, a little bit of sewing here and just a little bit of pattern sewing over here as well. And then uh, some different trimmings on the side as well, as you can see over here. And on the back, of course, it's a card that you can uh, write on. And here, um, yeah, I just show you the butterfly here. And then uh, on the inside is a bit of a, a tag with a family picture where looks like maybe Georgia Rose uh, maybe had a, a little sister as well or maybe a cousin but that's her father and she's sitting happily on his knee together with her sister or cousin and so she just put that in here to remember her father by ledger paper over here with some uh, fabric tabs on the top and the bottom and over here uh, I think this is Edith Holden. Yes, it is Edith Holden. And a bit of just uh, red paper. Just a piece of uh, red paper that I cut into kind of like a... And you can put it actually over here too, if you want to. I just cut it out. I believe I had a red uh, file folder for that, from that. And then over here is uh, more of a little, um, little notebook and as well. Uh, fabric collaging and uh, on top also we have a little clip with more fabric on top that's holding that in place and then over here is a tag Christmas Day beautiful and then a little bit more of the botany uh, paper I did leave you one here's one pocket and that you can actually put something of your own and then this is um, isn't this beautiful uh, this is her parents' wedding picture that she has put together onto a tag so that she can write her memory um, about what she feels about this uh, picture and how much she loves it. And then this is a bit of her mother's uh, veil, wedding veil, that she's put on the here as well. And then you get this um, beautiful, beautiful ribbon with the gold that covers this pocket. I leave you the space, there's a, a, a flip out and um, a little bit more space to write. And then this, there's this beautiful image, I did um, get this I believe, from the uh, graphics fairy of uh, Georgia Rose, that's what I will call her. And um, just so pretty holding her basket here. And as well off it is a, this beautiful Christmas tree that's attached to it. And in the back of it, um, so this is the middle of the third signature, and we have a little bit of a um, more of the nativity scene and so on, uh, more to do with Christmas in traditional sense, and as well as the modern sense as far as um, some different things that we cherish during Christmas time. Now in the middle, each one, I forgot to mention, each one has beads in the middle, of the signature, and this one is a uh, little print out of Christmas Carol. And this uh, beautiful little paper in the back. And more stamping over here. And over here is um, Chris Kringle or Saint Nick, and he's bringing some 
wonderful gifts for the girls and boys and over here is a piece of muslin that I also um, patterned uh, sewing onto and uh, some more paper here, the ledger paper and here I did leave you this pocket empty to fill in uh, something of your own and this pocket here uh, has a little bit of a letter also that she may have received from her father at some point and then um, she kept that so that she can write her own notes in response or however she feels to do with that letter. And a little bit more botanical images here. And then a tag over here. It is um, collaged with fabric and uh, paper, different kinds of paper. Then I uh, put on a Get Faithful and um, a little bit more sewing on the bottom. And this one has a, a little candy cane. And so throughout, you can see all kinds of ribbons um, that are attached to this um, in different colors. And this one has a little notebook on it also with a collage here with the different fibers on there and different papers. And then this is a pocket um, that has another little um, Santa inside here as well. And, oh, you know what, this one opens up. Oh, it's a little folder. Oh, we almost missed this. It's very beautiful. A little folder with more paper in it. And a piece of paper to write on. And a little tag as well. And this one too. So it has a little tab on both sides that you can use to open it. And then um, it goes back in here. Again, Edith holding in the back here with some butterflies, your paper, a little bit of holly in here. Now this is, um, I did leave this as is. It is from a, a vintage book and on the back it says American Holly and then inside a little bit something about a tree, but I left it as it is just so you can read it and uh, maybe add something on your own if you want to. Now this is the last uh, hinged, uh, double hinged, um, page and on the outside so it looks like that and then you have a uh, tag here and then over here as well you have a bit of extra um, card to write on and then over here is the notebook uh, so you get lots of these long notebooks to write on and little notebooks as well and this little <laughs> little teeny envelope that I put in under each one and then some more writing paper and in this um, beautiful belly band here and this beautiful color cardstock is um, this was uh, also uh, printed on fabric and uh, this beautiful tab that goes uh, with it so this is a bit of a uh, uh, graph paper on this one and then in the back here we have another one of these uh, wreaths and this beautiful little snowflake charm and uh, a final uh, little notebook with the nativity scene on a vintage um, uh, card and it does have the writing in the back i left it just because it's so beautiful to see and then a few uh, different kinds of papers to write on inside so this is the end of uh, inspire i hope you enjoyed this video because uh, i'm sorry about it. it's not quite as good as usually because i don't have a uh, tripod and I'm just kind of turning pages and um, holding the phone with the other hand. So this is uh, the back of um, this journal. Very pretty in the different um, shades and uh, different ribbons on the bottom. And uh, here again you see the, the side of it. And um, so this is Inspire. I hope to see you again sometime coming by the shop and by my channel uh, to see what else is new. Thank you so much for coming by. Rosie from Rose Maninko. Thank you. Bye-bye.